Hello friends, I welcome you back to the Creative Thinkers Hub channel. Today we are going to be seeing that how one could create a, almost a realistic image of an apple. So this apple is an image at present. Now how do I create an almost realistic image of the same? So for that first you need to do is trace the bitmap as a high quality image. Okay, and make sure that everything is 100. Okay, and then we say group by color. Now, what does this uh, help us do? If we say group by color and say, okay. Now, once we say, okay, we have got a lot of white also that is coming into our background because uh, that may not be selected by Coral Draw as a standard color. So, it's, it's letting that go. So we are going to do create a rectangle and shift page down and what happens when you say group by color is that when you come here and you ungroup once what happens is that all this white you see all the same color white is going to be grouped together and hence, hence deleting this unwanted color that is there really becomes easy you get that so is going to be selected all throughout in the image there could be chances that you see now there is something else also that's getting deleted because that color is coming in can you see that but it's okay it's not something that is disturbing our image to a very large extent so that's where we are deleting it okay now seeing this what we do is that then we start selecting things that we don't want at present we are going to be making our apple the stick and other things are not so important for now so we'll select all that and we're not going to delete them just keep them on the side we'll have to zoom in and come here and select the whole stick make sure that you're selecting as less as possible only what you need okay now this brown of the top stick is also included somewhere else okay so let's see where it's included I come here and I press shift and click this okay at the bottom of the apple is that of any concern yes it is so we are going to be taking this also and let it come here not a problem okay now what we do we come here and select this ungroup it select this ungroup it and we take this carefully back where it was got it so now that's where we have created our apple now you would say that you know there are other elements also which i would need correction now we are going to be taking this okay and we are going to be creating and outline create boundary right so now once we say create boundary this boundary is of the apple you see that this is what it is so we have got maximum of the shape of the apple all you need to do is now delete some unnecessary nodes i would prefer that we select everything first convert them all to curves right so that we are not losing on anything delete what you don't need delete what you don't need fine and then now this is of no use to us we can very well delete this and put this in the middle and now put our image also in the middle now we are going to work according to our image okay so put this here do you see it is it not a faster way of getting our curve of the apple Now there's a reason why I have done this. You could even use the busier tool. You say that works faster. Fine, that's also an option. Okay, we are designers. We leave things to our discretion as to how we want to operate on a particular object. Okay, there's, there is no right or wrong way of doing something. So 
so now once we are done with this okay now we start adding our colors so we could come here this is our shape okay and then we add a mesh to it now by default you get a 2 by 2 mesh now why is this coming cross okay the simple thing is that our we had this cut over here okay so what you could do is just we make it a 4 by 4 just See now we are going to we are what are we doing? We are creating certain spaces which we know will be of a particular color. Just like how we normally do. Okay, so this is going to be our so we take care of our red and our green. So that's how you could work around this. So red and then a green is going to be coming in this way. So we that we can add another object also if need be. See, or else this is how we can just add a node here or add a node here yes this will come to your this is how our green is going to be got it so this you can shape your green in a much better way it so this is where my green is going to be coming in click on this area okay take your pick tool come on the green and that's where you get your green right now there are additional whites also here so for that what are we going to do just click somewhere and create a node got it click here and create a node so that's how you get more nodes now you click anywhere where you want that white to be so you click on the mesh click on that area come here and click where you want that white or reddish tone now all this has to be in that same tone right so we can just keep coming and clicking here I think we are done let's see we click here and give it a no fill so this is how our apple is going to be looking in our mesh 
now to create these and these what we are going to be doing is delete all this just take our artistic media tool we take this and just come here okay and we reduce our thickness okay and then we say page down then we come here give it a no fill and therefore our apple is kind of ready now how do we make the leaf so then for the leaf again we select the same line and connect it from here so we come again back to our artistic media and we make a line and reduce the thickness tremendously to get a leaf a twig okay now to do it that way you can come here into the shape tool and change the shape got it so that's where our second one is also coming you can come your select both of them and make them brown however you want it to be now how do we make the leaf so for the leaf we are going to be deleting this taking this and welding it and again as usual creating so once it's broken apart this becomes one object fine so we have a leaf now that leaf could come here and in the same way how we did the apple we are going to be doing our leaf also convert all of them to curves and reduce the nodes okay see now to work strategically you don't want the actual structure and things of the leaf to change so work effectively there you know don't don't sit and remove all the nodes now you say why are we removing the nodes the the more number of nodes you remove okay the the better mesh fill you will be getting so this also we make it a 4 by 4 okay and then we start filling our color now we can come here and create this line so it is a differentiation line so what we are going to be doing is that we just create a line let it be a free hand line now what we do is that we take a free hand and we create a line okay so this is our leaf so once this line is made make this line dark give it a dark green color and a thickness so we give it a green no not this green okay yeah this is good and we give it a thickness okay so that's how our differentiation line is also created now need be you just take this and fit it to the point add this color to the palette and select your line and this is our line okay so that's how it is 
and then if need be in this mesh we add a little more white so we add the whitish So now on the apple that we had created, we uh, so now on the apple that we have created, let's say I want to add you know some water and uh, I want to increase uh, uh, the uh, likability of the whole thing. So how do I add water droplets and things like that? So in that you take a circle, press Control, take a circle. Okay, we are going to be working on a leaf over here so that you can see properly. We zoom in and work here. Okay, so come here, give it a white color. So give it white. Now you give it a shadow. So coming here, you give it a shadow. Now what you need to do is when you're giving a shadow, make sure you're pressing control so that the shadow comes exactly straight. Now we are going to say normal. Okay, we are going to give it a drop shadow and we are going to increase the transparency of the shadow to 75 once that is done you have to make sure your control is pressed when you are doing this okay and this is how the shadow is complete now you are going to so what we need to go come here and break shadow apart so when you break the shadow apart what happens that you see this your shadow and your object have separated then when we come here we need to select both of them, the shadow and the object and trim this and your object and say trim. Now why we are saying trim is because we only want that lower part of the shadow. So then again you come here and say no fill. Once you say no fill, sorry, we say no fill. Okay, so this is white. Now again go back to shadow and we give this a shadow this way got it so here we are giving an inner this is what we are getting inner shadow that means shadow in the inside again make sure that you are pressing control okay and leave it the way it is fine just come here and give it a no fill now you see your droplet is almost complete now what we need to do is that we make another oval over here we come here press c so that it is in the center okay and make sure that you take this as high as possible and increase the size a little bit if need be okay once that is done then you give it white color once you have given it white color, then you need to come into transparency and give it a transparency this way from the outside of the object. Okay. Now we give it again a no fill. Okay. So this is how our shadow is going to look. You want to work on it further. You can work on it. Okay. So this is what is good now then once this is done then you create another small ellipse at the bottom and this with the help of a shape tool you convert it to curves and play with this slightly push this up okay so that's how you will get your shadow now adjust this again further and same you we do with this but here what we do is that we give it a uniform shadow and let it be at 50% and also remove the outline 
so this is how you can you can increase it to uh, 60 okay keep it at 60 and that's about it and then again another small circle so that you are adding to the drama over here okay and this now in older versions what you might have to do is that you might have to convert this into a bitmap okay you might have to convert this into a bitmap so convert to bitmap and then get into effects but because i am using coral draw 21 and above i can directly go into blur and get into gaussian blur okay this is blurring too much just going to give it a minor light shadow okay so that's where my drop gets its shine so as you can see my drop is complete okay now you might say that i really don't want this you know so heavy so stark i don't want it round i want it to flow in a different shape so that is also very much possible duplicate this and convert this to a, a bitmap got it at rgb so this is how your vector will look this is how your image will look you make multiple copies of this so duplicate 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 why we need to basically come here then we will need a lot of drops okay so one drop i need here and i want it flowing along my object so what i'm going to do come into the envelope tool and allow it to flow you see that that's flowing now okay so this is one i take the second drop i want it here let's say i just want drops like this only all by themselves so just duplicate them increase decrease the size so that they don't look the same okay and then i want some drops which will be of a different shape altogether so those particular drops you change by using the envelope tool all over again and we say this drop i want this way you know you have to make sure that you are you are going with the flow of the object otherwise it will look very artificial so it's extremely important that you go with the flow of the object got it and then if you think this is not yet right you rotate it fine so that's where we have this drop this drop could be smaller somewhere else and so on and so forth so that's how we keep adding drops and complete our object fine so that's how you are going to be adding an additional luster okay let some drops be on the leaf also again it's going to fall off the leaf so we use the envelope tool and make it fall off just add some level of distortion where it will look a little natural okay and one more here and this i would just want to sorry this i just want to rotate fine and then my friends drops are added everything is happening fine one thing we forgot can you tell me what it is we forgot to add a shadow so again what we do just come here create an ellipse okay center align it to our apple and increase it a little reduce it from here and same thing that we did last time we give it a black shadow shift page down and move this image a little so you can see and then come your object sorry effects blur gaussian blur again this will work directly if This 
is good and then we reduce the size. Okay, so this is the completion of our apple with first the mesh fill, then the twig, then the leaf and then adding drops to it and then the shadow. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and do not forget to share. Thank you.